Hi, good morning, and thanks for joining us on Homesteading on the 49th. Uh, we had a cold night last night. It's negative 20 Celsius. So I'm going to go check on the little baby lambs that were born. We had two born um, January the 9th and uh, another one born February 4th, which is pretty early. We usually get them at the beginning of March. Uh, so the downside to that is that we can get these cold, cold nights, and um, I think they're fine. They seem uh, really healthy, and they've got lots of good thick hair, so hopefully Mama and uh, and the flock kept everybody warm. Let's go check on them and see how they did through the night. We've got a lot of snow, even the cooties. So we get a lot of snow here doesn't typically get this cold, which is really nice. Um, this sheep breed has been great. They seem to do really well in the summer, they forage around, and uh, they seem to be able to handle the cold. They give, give birth really easy. We have Barbados black bellies uh, and a ram who's a mix of something. And uh, they seem to give pretty nice little babies and they're pretty happy. Good morning, everyone. Got some grain here. Okay, hold on. Oh. This is the new guy. He's just a few days old. There's our Ram. We call him Rambo. And the two older babies are there in the back. They're just over a month old now. And the black bellies, the true back black belly you use, are the ones you can see that have the, the black belly markings. Um, and this littler one here, we call her Susie Sheep. She's uh, from a different farm we traded. They've got some black bellies as well. And then we've got these two younger ewes here. It's kind of hard to tell when everybody's in a huddle. Hi! This is our little lamb. He's a ram. He's really tall compared to the other ones, but he's doing all right. There you go. That is a five-day-old Barbados uh, mixed Barbados sheep, and he just went through negative 20 degrees Celsius, and he is happy and fine. I just wanted to take a minute to talk about our barn that we built. Um, we took down a bunch of trees and we milled up the wood with our woodland mill and um, we built this barn here and so far it's been amazing we're probably going to do a little addition because we can't seem to keep our flock small um, and I just wanted to show you around our barn a little bit here we've got our manger which seems to do okay it drops a lot of hay um, they kind of waste a lot. I think maybe a small tire would be better. There's our Maremma sheepdog. Um, we have two bays in the back for when they give birth. If they need to be separated, uh, they don't always need to be separated, I find. But w often we come out and the babies are born and they're dry and they're fine. And um, our ram is really gentle to the other sheep, not necessarily to us all the time. But... Um, Often we don't even need to separate them. They seem totally fine, but it's definitely nice to have the two bays. If you do need to separate someone, cold nights, put them under a light. Um, if we were expecting a lamb last night, I would have put a light out here because you don't want to have babies coming out in these temperatures, but everybody was dry and warm and healthy. So um, yeah, just to give you a quick preview. Right now we're keeping hay in the one side and we've got this one open for when the, the other babies were born in January. And uh, otherwise, yeah, they are happy campers. They've got uh, three good walls and each other to stay warm. So I guess that's all they need. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and look for more videos. We've got lots of stuff coming out this year. Thanks.